What's up, everybody? Joe from Joe's Gold Garage. Oh, doing a little update video on the 2017 Nissan Rogue. I did a 60K for you guys a couple months back. And I think we just turned over 65,000 miles. Let's crank her up. Yeah, look at there. 65,000, four miles. It's time for an oil change. Yeah, I had the big 60,000 mile service done at uh, the Nissan dealer and they didn't put a damn sticker up here. So I just made a mental um, note in my head to come back around 65K or hit the Jiffy, Jiffy Lube. take it to Nissan for uh, oil change as a menace. For one thing, it's not convenient. It's probably actually cheaper than the Jiffy Lube because a lot of times these dealers, you know, they do oil change specials and stuff, especially if you bought your car there. I don't know. I might carry it there. Oh, but the Nissan dealer I use where I bought this car, they don't report to freaking Carfax. That, that's some crap. So my big 60K service that cost me a pretty penny and uh, also showed my last CVT service, um, it, it is not on the Carfax. So yeah, that's just terrific. Now I kept the, I keep all my service records, of course, in my books and stuff like that. But you know, I want that shit to show up on a car facts in case something happens to me or something happens to the stuff in the glove box that way a, a buyer can see that information that information is so helpful i guess i've just as a dealer gotten to where we rely on it so much uh it really you know like to see lots of carfax entries especially when we're trying to hunt down timing belt changes you know um you know, it all, I think they ought to make it a damn law to put a timing belt sticker under the hood. And if there's not one, you know, timing belt has been changed at this date and these miles under the hood. And if and if it doesn't have one, then you know it hadn't been done. <laughs> because we play scratch at our head all the time. Like, um, I know this is a Nissan Rogue video, but I'm going to talk a little bit about that, uh, blue 2004 Lexus GX that we have sitting at the shop. That 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 thing has 287,000 miles on it, okay? It's an 04, almost 300K. It has no timing belt sticker anywhere under the hood. There's no evidence there has ever been one under the hood. And the Carfax does not show any timing belt changes on the Carfax. Now, me, surely, surely to God, it's been changed. It should have been changed at least two times. A good uh, maintenance would probably be a third time, but I'm not, I'm not going to bank on that. I'm going to bank Hopefully somebody changed that 100. Hopefully somebody changed it around 200. And it needs to be changed again around 300. But uh, we don't have service rec. We don't have crap. So that's another reason why that thing just sits there. And no one really drives it a whole lot. Because my brother's saving that for his 16-year-old daughter. Uh, when she starts driving here really soon. Um... And when she does, he's going to take it in and have the service done. I'm going to freaking McDonald's, y'all. I never eat at this place because it is like heart attack in a sack. But I, my wife got drunk last night at a um, party. 
and she was out at 2 a.m. getting french fries with some friends and she said they were the best thing and ever since she brought them up I have been craving these freaking french fries so yeah uh, Carfax yeah man dealers report to freaking Carfax please I mean it's the least you can freaking do come on now Alright, sorry, I had to place my order. Uh, we were talking about Carfax, Lexus GX. What the hell else can we talk about? How about college teen license plates? <laughs> How about them balls? Good old Tennessee. Yeah, I got one of those for Renee's car. That's my wife. Uh, except hers is a Georgia one, UGA. Because she graduated from Georgia in 1996. Good Lord, long time ago. Still remember it like it was yesterday. Yep, I remember it like it was yesterday. Man, I got my McDonald's. <laughs> this probably will make me sick. But those tags, those, um, University tags, they're freaking expensive, man. Um, I think I paid 80 extra dollars when I got that tag for uh, the Saab that, of course, my wife drives. Um, but anyway, she, she had had one for years, and then I quit paying the extra money each year to have one. And uh, she was like, I don't ask for a whole lot, but I do want my UGA tag. She's the, she is the proudest alumni of her school. I mean, she donates money and, you know, freaking drags us down there to all the damn games, which is kind of fun. I enjoy it. Um, dude, I love a Honda Ruckus. There's one coming right at us. 50 cc's of pure fury, but I love a Honda Ruckus. I think they look like it'd be fun to ride. Um, and you don't need a license or insurance in Georgia to ride a 50cc. Not sure what the rules are in other places, but in Georgia, yeah. Uh, but we can also, you know, shoot firecrackers and shit like that in our house and buy liquor on Sundays. But you know what? The liquor on Sundays, that may be, that, that's probably been everywhere. I forget we're kind of in the you know, the Bible South Baptist states, you know, they held that off for years and years until they just couldn't anymore. And uh, it's only been within the past 20 years, and it's probably been less than that, that we've been able to buy on Sundays. We're going to take this road, get it on the freeway, and uh, I just want to check her out. I just haven't I haven't driven it since I did the 60,000 a couple of months ago. So they've loaded 5,000 miles on this some bitch fast. So I thought I'd just get out here and make sure, you know, it ain't got any weird ass vibrations or anything going on here. Come on, light. All right. I live so close to the interstate, it's not even funny. I did get a recall notice, though, that, uh, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Nissan has extended the warranty on the CVT um, on my particular model, my 2017. It's covered um, about another, up to 84,000 miles. I think it's either 10 years, 84,000, or maybe it's unlimited time but it's 84K. So at least I got 19,000 more miles of reassurance. I get that came out of that big class action lawsuit that they are settling with people on these CVTs. Um, you know, they're weird. CVTs are weird as shit. Um, but face it, that's what they're all going to. They're all going to. I mean, where else... What other, I mean, you gotta have a 10 or 12 speed automatic transmission to be able to go 85 and turn 2,000 RPMs, okay? You know, it's all about fuel economy, keeping those RPMs down. Um, 
So we either all gonna be driving CVT soon, all electric. No, I don't think that'll be. I mean, there's gonna be plenty of electric cars, but we got years before. I mean, shit, the gas. That's like getting rid of cigarettes. You know, try getting rid of fuel. Ain't gonna happen, man. You ain't getting rid of cigarettes, and you ain't getting rid of gas. That's a, that's that's for damn sure. Everything seems all right. These brakes, uh, yeah, it's, they told me at 60K at the dealer that the brakes were down to the damn, they said the pads were about as thick as onion paper. Uh, and I can tell just by coming off the interstate at that um, higher speed, I do need to, you can't feel it in town, but, um, definitely coming off that exit ramp I could feel it. I gotta get brake pads for this stupid thing. Probably have to turn the rotors. Look at that GX460. That's pretty cool. I like that color and I like those wheels. It seems like a little more unusual wheel. <clears throat> so we'll just circle back around and jump back on. I uh, wanted to throw, if you're still watching my, uh, at this point, I hope some of you are, uh, because <laughs> this was another main point I was trying to get to, but of course I ramble like freaking crazy. Um, what would y'all think about like a comment call type video? You know what I'm saying? I follow a couple of YouTubers that I really enjoy their comment call vi uh, videos. And basically what that is, is you, you know, you guys comment below um, my videos and then what I do is I do a video where I address some of y'all's comments you know like I'll shout out your name or your YouTube handle and I'll say you know so and so so and so asked hey Joe you know well, da, 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 about the transmission and the Lexus da 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 you know whatever and we talk what do y'all think about those kind of videos? That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Um, anyway, somebody just stuck their phone out the window to get a picture of these people towing a dishwasher and a, uh, <laughs> a dishwasher and a damn treadmill. <laughs> that was pretty freaking funny. <laughs> uh, I guess they thought that was funny, so they had to get a picture. Now the guy's riding his freaking brake lights. Anyway, uh, yeah, Nissan seems all right. Yeah, still shifting good, still pretty smooth. Just got to get some brakes on this baby at some point. Anyway, y'all like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everybody that does comment. Hit the like button. It helps. Every little bit helps. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, let me know what y'all think about doing some comment call videos. That might be kind of cool be some fun and different to do god this car is going agonizingly slow i mean what the fuck are you doing i mean you can't drive oh and they're not even exiting are you fucking kidding me i mean you can't drive 65 miles an hour people you can't i mean 30 years ago yeah but now fuck no Get your ass killed by assholes like me. Anyway, we'll see y'all with the next one. Oh, they're the Georgia Bulldogs. Pretty cool. Go dogs. Peace.